Gemma, thank you very much for, for joining us. What do you make of this idea that people shouldn't be sent to prison because uh, if they're under 25 because their brains aren't fully formed? Is there, is there anything in that at all, do you think? Um, well, EHCPs for children and young people with uh, learning disabilities and mental disabilities go up to age 25. So in terms of those children and young people that have those mental disabilities, I can understand that. Um, however, not really in, in the criminal justice context at all, no. I mean, this was a particularly horrific uh, crime. He, uh, he threatened her, he seized her by the wrists, he forced her to carry out a sex act before raping her, a 13-year-old girl. I mean, that is horrific. The judge said, and, and I'd be interested in what you think about this, Gemma, the judge said that if he was over 25, he would have got four to five years in prison, which still seemed pretty uh, uh, lenient to me. But the judge said, prison does not lead me to believe this will contribute to your rehabilitation and because he'd got no previous convictions, he thought that therefore not sending him to prison was the right thing to do. So I, I suppose the question is, what's more important, rehabilitation or punishment for a serious crime? Well, I don't really think it's for the victim to have to suffer because our criminal justice system isn't doing rehabilitation properly and rehabilitation isn't being invested in properly. Why should that that young girl have to suffer the consequences for that. And the thing that I find really, really concerning is that rape is a serial and escalating offence. So it isn't a case of, is he going to be a danger? He will be a danger. He will do it again and he will do it worse. So what that judge is responsible for is not only failing that victim, but also the future victims of this man. Do you think rape as a crime isn't taken seriously enough? It, absolutely not. If, if we look at the conviction rates, you have less than 2% chance of even getting to court. And in, it takes years, as, as in this case and in most cases, it takes years and years. And then when they get there, they're told, oh, even if you've been proved you have done it, oh, don't worry about it, mate, you get away with it. It just reinforces this message again that what happens to women and girls doesn't matter, and that's something that women and girls, particularly in Scotland, I believe... Is that about evidence-gathering, though? Is that the principal problem? Um, I think there are a lot of factors. Um, I think pornography is a factor as well. Um, the average age of exposure to pornography in the UK is now seven years old. So if boys are watching these increasingly violent pornography and believing they're supposed to be copying them, um, then boys can then say, well, I believe she consented even though she was crying, even though I was strangling her, even though I was hitting her. So there are a lot of contributing factors like that because you have to prove that the perpetrator knew the victim didn't consent. So it is a complicated issue.